So now what we're going to do is that we're going to save our test cases in our entire project and we're going to save it as a repository in our GitHub profile. From there, we'll be able to save our repository as a script repository inside of TestOps and then incorporate that test plan as they refer to it as inside of a Jenkins pipeline where we'll then utilize it as a build step where we can then start incorporating a build trigger so that we can actually have the full experience of automation where we have some developer commit some code where that uh, pipeline will then be kicked off and the test suite that we just created will then start executing automatically without anyone having to do anything more than their day-to-day -day work. A quick note when it comes to saving your project into your Git repository is to make sure that you have everything you see here in our test explorer down from the profiles all the way over to the plugin folders inside your local directory uh, wherever you saved your test cases to be inside your repository as well. So if we were to switch over to our repository instance, we can actually start seeing the fact that we start uh, seeing our keywords, our object repository, profiles, settings, test suites, etc. This is all necessary so that when we kick them off remotely, that they have access to the all necessary um, uh, access to the object repository and any other assets that they may need during those execution. Once saved inside of a repository, what we're going to do is that we are going to then create a new test run. How we do that is simply click on this blue button here and we are given you know, a name for it. Uh, we can call it med regression if we really wanted to again for the test suite. Uh, and we can give it uh, access to our script repository. Once we have access to it, we can uh, select it from here, type in the type of uh, you know, uh, command we're trying to do, in this case, a test suite. The actual test suite that we're trying to utilize, which is the test suite regression test. The environment we're wanting to do, the, uh, the profile, what data, essentially, we want to utilize. Uh, again, going back to our usage of test cloud, we do have the option of utilizing it in a trial right now in our uh, in, uh, in your instance of test ops. And test cloud is again a virtualized environment for your you know web applications where you can actually execute your you know your web applications against a wide range of uh, various different types of operating systems as well as supported browsers. So if you are running on a Windows machine and you want to make sure that this application works in Safari, you can then utilize Test Cloud to run your uh, your test script in a virtualized environment for a Macintosh, and then utilize the Safari browser of sorts. So once we have that all settled up, we can start scheduling this, and we, we then have access to it inside of our Jenkins pipeline. 